Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Pure Gear Pure Tech Roll On Screen Shield Kit for the iPhone 5. Now, we first had a chance to preview this last year at CES for the iPhone 4. I showed you a video of that. This is the brand new version for the iPhone 5. Now, the Screen Shield installation kit sells for $24.99. You can also purchase refills for $14.99, and that's what you see here. The full kit, which comes with one Screen Shield with a self aligning applicator, it's supposed to be 100% bubble free, offer HD clarity, as well as impact protection. Again, sells for $24.99, and then you can replace that with these individual refills for $14.99. So, we're going to try to install one. Of these right now on camera and see how it goes. So let's crack open the PureTech Roll-On Screen Shield Kit and find out what it's all about right now. All right, for the sake of time, I've removed everything from the packaging. Basically, all you get is the tray itself, which includes the screen protector already there, the roller, which you're gonna use for the application, as well as one microfiber cloth to clean your screen off with. So if I'm reading the directions right, and I have to admit they're a little confusing, I have to lift this screen shield, which is right here, out of the way, and place my phone inside here like so, till it fits in. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get it in here. I'm gonna get it all the way up and out of the way and make sure the phone fits in the applicator. So it doesn't seem to want to fit in perfectly. So I'm gonna try to force it in, I guess, with the button side second. Let's just see. Pop it in like so. It's pretty tight fit, but it's going in. Yeah, it's in there. So that's in the applicator, like so. And then I'm gonna go with some scotch tape and just make sure that there is no dust on my screen as I was just kind of manhandling it uh, to get it into the applicator. So let me uh, get the dust off the screen. You could use the wipe if you, uh, you know, need to, but I find scotch tape works really well at just making sure that you've not missed any dust at all. Because remember, this is gonna be kind of a one and done type deal. Once I put this on, um, I don't think I'll be able to remove it to get the dust back out. So there we go. Um, the next step is going to be to lay this down and then take the roller and push it onto my phone. So I'm gonna do that right now and here we go. So I'm gonna grab it and just roll on along the phone until I'm all the way at the bottom and I'm pressing pretty hard all the way to the end of the foam, and there we go. So that's what's left over, this piece right here. I don't need any of this anymore. I would obviously wanna save the roller in case I want to use the refill that um, I purchased um, if I need to. So then it says step three, which is carefully peel hair along screen surface. This is still stuck to the screen protector, so you wanna make sure that when you, um, you know, lift it off, it doesn't take the screen shield off, which it just started to do right there. And I can hopefully press that back down to get any bubbles that are um, you know, gonna form cause of that. So, I'm gonna do that again on this side and carefully, hopefully, you can see it wants to lift up the screen shield, which is kind of what happened. So now let me pop my phone out of here and come back and show you exactly what it looks like. All right, I'm back with what ended up being a pretty decent install. Removing the phone from the applicator, not too bad. As I mentioned, the hardest part was peeling the top layer off. It wants to get stuck up here and you can see I did end up with a few bubbles at the top. We'll have to see if those disappear and that was from pulling the protective layer off. As far as the screen shield itself goes, this is the same kind of material as let's say a Zag Invisible Shield. It's that kind of orange peely material. Uh, it does look pretty clear though. Cutouts, kind of interesting, kind of a rectangular one at the top and then a horseshoe one at the bottom. And you can see the clarity is pretty good. Doesn't seem to degrade the screen quality all that much. If you're someone that struggles with putting a screen shield on, this sort of applicator is something you might wanna check out. The fact that it has refillable and reusable uh, screen shields that you can add on makes uh, you know it so that you can add a different screen shield on um, each time your current one becomes you know old and needs to be replaced. So that has been a brief look at the Pure Gear Pure Tech screen shield installation kit. Again, the kit sells for $24.99, the refill $14.99. You can check it out via the Pure Gear website, which I will put a link to in the video description. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw here today, you know you can drop me a line. Otherwise, have a great day.